We've just witnessed a full circle moment for Roman Reigns. We've seen the big return at SummerSlam, but this made it feel a million times more special to see how the crowd reacted once again to his return to Friday Night SmackDown as Roman Reigns will confront Solo and his entire bloodline 2.0 and he absolutely obliterated them. A Superman punch to Solo as soon as he gets in the ring the spear through the barricade and beating the living shit out of the rest of the bloodline with the steel chair. Is this the loudest crowd reaction besides maybe SummerSlam? But even counting that maybe, is this the biggest crowd reaction that Roman Reigns has ever gotten? Because oh my god. Now this is what I mean by this being a full circle moment. The entire point of his original heel turn, the tribal chief character, him saying acknowledge me over and over again as his catchphrase every single week that he would come out is because that's what he truly always desired, acknowledgement. He was the chosen one by Vince McMahon who for years and years forced him down our throats as this baby face that we just couldn't accept because it was just so corny, cringe, and unoriginal. And for years, Vince just booked him all wrong. Full of suffering, succotash, son. Are showering rains in dog food. And then we finally got the heel tribal chief that seeks nothing but acknowledgement from the WWE universe. And nearly 10 years into his solo run, in fact, it's been 10 years because his shield broke up in 2014. So it took an entire 10 years an amazing legendary heel run to finally come to this week when we finally got Vince McMahon's wet dream of Roman Reigns becoming the biggest baby face in the entire industry. And there is absolutely no denying that he was already the biggest star for the past four years as the tribal chief, but this is just different. We are seeing an entirely new Roman Reigns that's pretty much similar to the tribal chief i guess because that's what otc means the original tribal chief and this version of roman very well may be the biggest baby face that wwe has seen since prime stone cold steve austin not comparing star power because i don't know his comparison to john cena where everybody ranks them but as far as the way that the fans will accept this roman reigns this is going to be a legendary run all the way to his match at WrestleMania. And speaking of that match, that is a humongous question that a lot of us are wondering. Earlier this week, Dave Notzer reported, and I know that Dave Notzer isn't that reliable of a source these days because, you know, but either way, there is reports that the match planned for WrestleMania would be Roman Reigns versus Solo. And now we're seeing Roman confront Solo here so I'm hoping that WWE does the right thing. Don't push this all the way to WrestleMania. And not because we're waiting for it necessarily, but because we want this to happen still. But the ultimate match that we want to see at WrestleMania is Roman Reigns versus The Rock. I would hope that Roman versus Solo happens as soon as Bash in Berlin. We know Roman is confirmed for SmackDown next week as well. So I would like to think that that's the direction they're going and maybe even a match at Bad Blood, but just blow off this Roman vs. Solo no later than Survivor Series and have Roman vs. The Rock start being built up and have that be the WrestleMania match because we've had that match in our hands technically for three WrestleManias in a row, but at WrestleMania 39, The Rock said himself that that match was off the tables because of some disagreements, whatever that may mean. And then we know what happened at WrestleMania 40 with the We Want Cody movement. That was kind of our doing, but it was still the right thing to do because that wasn't the right time. But you know what is the right and perfect time? WrestleMania 41 in Las Vegas. That is the time. You don't waste it. I know The Rock versus Cody Rhodes is a dream match that is most likely going to happen, but you should do that at the Royal Rumble. Get that out the way because the WrestleMania match, the night two main event needs to be The Rock versus Roman Reigns. If you have it in your hands and it seems like a great time to do it, do not delay this anymore. Do it now because Roman Reigns is about to be at the peak of his career right now. And yes, I know that might sound crazy because 
he's just now coming back from his historical 1,316 day title reign. But even so, I would say that without a title, this babyface OTC original tribal chief version of Roman Reigns is going to be the best version of him that we've ever seen with the fans behind his back fully for the first time in his career. There are so many layers still to explore with this storyline, with this change of Roman Reigns. We've seen just the mention of Roman be pretty much a trigger for Kevin Owens earlier in the show when Cody Rhodes and Nick Aldis brought him up. So there's still a lot to be explored with Roman Reigns with all of the torment that he's done to the entire WWE locker room for the past four years, including with his own family members like the Usos, especially Jay. It's just so crazy growing up watching Roman Reigns go from the man that was forced down her throat, main events in WrestleMania after WrestleMania, fighting against Brock Lesnar a billion times, beating The Undertaker and the way the crowd reacted the next night on Raw when that happened, battling his leukemia, coming back from that, and having to deal with that insanely ass dog food Baron Corbin feud to the point where he freaking damn near retired, and now to the tribal chief, to what we have now, and what comes next. It's all a mystery, but all we can do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the next chapter of the Bloodline story, because this is about to be cinema. Full of suffering, succotash, son!